Today we had the pleasure of taking a look at one of our customers trading journals and it's packed with a lot of interesting data. In total, as you can see, we have 656 trades. He has a positive net return, a relatively low win rate and a small average PNL. So slightly positive, but not by much. He's holding his trades on average 4.5 days. So it's a short term swing trader. When we look at the equity graph here, we can see that there's a lot of up and downs in the beginning up until trade 330, 350, somewhere around here, the equity graph peaked out. And then this journal shows some significant drawdown periods here. The first one, a second one, the third one, and currently the trader seems to be in another drawdown phase. We can look at, for example, only the current year. So for that, we open our basic filters and the date range has here a shortcut for the current year. And when we take a look at this performance, you can see that the trader is currently in this drawdown. He has taken a total of 143 trades this year with a net return of minus 13%. Taking a look at last year's trading data, we can see that the trader also had a negative year, but just slightly with a negative return of minus 3% and he took a total of 150 trades last year. One of the first things to do in a journal is to go to the risk distribution to analyze the risk management of the trader. Here we don't see any negative outliers. If you would see negative outliers here to the far left, this would indicate that the trader has taken some very large losses. In this case, most of the losses here, the red bars are clustered very nicely together in the center. And this indicates that the trader is on top of his risk management and he doesn't encounter significant large losses. Next, we can take a look at the trade management and especially the actual performance and the potential performance are here interesting. The actual performance is well above the potential performance. And this indicates that the trader is managing his trades well. If it would be flipped around, this would indicate that the trader is losing money by mismanaging his trades, which typically means getting out of winning trades too soon. We can take a look at again only this year's data because we saw the big dip in the equity graph for this year. And let's see for the trade management what we can find. And this is exactly what you don't want to see. It shows that the potential performance in green is above the actual performance. So potentially the trader could have had so far a profitable year. Although slightly profitable only because we are just barely above the zero line here. It is much better than what we can see. Actually, he realized a total loss of minus 19 R. This is given always in R multiple. Potentially, the trader could have realized a positive performance of close to 3 R. And this indicates that this year the trader hasn't been managing his trades very well. He could have made more money. And this is a very important first finding here that helps the trader to understand that his trade management is not very good this year. He could have been slightly profitable, but as we saw, he's currently in a drawdown. The next thing I noticed when we go to the performance by setup is that he has a total of 19 setups. In previous journal reviews, we have seen on the YouTube channel that often traders that have a high number of setups also often have mixed results. The best journals that we have seen here on Edgewonk is where traders only have a handful, a maximum of three to five setups or strategies that they trade because then they can focus and get to know their strategy inside out. Whereas if you have 19 setups, you are spreading yourself too thin. You have to remember a lot of rules. Your analysis and scanning process will take much longer and you are more likely to miss important things. Also then later, the review process is much harder when you have so many different data sets in your journal. What we can see right away is that we have a few positive outliers. PB has a total net profit of 73,000 US dollar and the trader is taking 80 trades tagged with the PB setup. This setup has also a positive performance, only 14 trades, but 20,800 in profit. BOWP has 64 trades, a very good sample size with also a net profit of 17,673. Those are the main setups that he should probably focus on. When we take a look here at the red underperforming setups, DTP stands out. He has realized a loss of 33,800 US dollar over 131 trades. So 131 trades is a good sample size to tell you that this system is not working at all. In some cases, you can then argue that you should try to analyze the DTP setup to try to find out ways to improve it or turn it around. 
but this trader is probably much better off in his current state to focus on the positive performing setups and only try to leverage his strength because they are really working very well for the trader and he then has more mental capacity to focus on the best performers, improve them further and so hopefully also improve his equity graph. Let's try to see what happens if we only look at the three best performing setups. For that we can open our basic filters and then we want to look at this one. We scroll down to find the PB one and we have the third best performing setup. When we go back to our equity graph, we can now see with the three setups only, he has a very nicely upward sloping equity graph. He is taking a total of 158 trades, a win rate close to 50%, much better than the overall win rate that we've seen in the beginning. And he has realized a return of 36%. After trade number 104, we can see in the equity graph that he wasn't able to make new highs and his performance slightly dipped, more or less moved break even. This doesn't necessarily have to mean that the setups are not performing anymore, but we have seen that the trader has previously had hundreds of trades in his journal and it could be the case that the trader is experiencing mental fatigue, maybe he's also losing a little bit of motivation to keep trading at his best when he is seeing that his account overall is dipping and moving lower over a long period of time. My guess would be that if the trader starts focusing only on his three best setups, he would see a major improvement not only in his performance, but also in his mindset and in how he approaches his trading. He would then be able to streamline his process. He doesn't have to juggle 20 different setups in the top of his mind. He can improve and streamline his analysis and trade preparing, his trade planning as well. Probably he will cut back his time that he needs to review and analyze his trades significantly as well by focusing on three setups instead of 20 or 19 in this case. Another interesting finding that I made is when you go to the performance by time and you look at the weekdays, it seems like the trader is underperforming significantly on Mondays. You can see he is taking 153 trades with a total loss of 58,000 US dollar. One of the possible explanations, and there could be uh, many different reasons, is that the trader has so many different setups that on the weekend or Monday morning, he doesn't have enough time to process all the charts, do his scanning routine, and then come up with a good trading watch list for the next days. Very likely, because he's focusing on so many different setups at the same time, his scanning and planning process is not where it could be and therefore he is often starting the week in red because he's not ready to have the best charts ready for the, all the different setups. I'm now here in the trade comments. We're taking a look at the trade entry comments and I have again selected only the current year's performance. And we take a look at here perfect entries. He is taking 121 trades that were tagged with a perfect entry but he is experiencing a loss of almost 20,000 US dollar. This is typically not the case what we see in the reviews because a perfect entry should generally lead to much better trading results. Interestingly, now when we remove the filter and we take a look at his whole trading account and the whole period, we can see that now the perfect entry provides a positive return of 72,000 US dollar over 546 trades. That's typically what we see. A possible explanation could be, as I said in the beginning, is that in the beginning he had a very good well-performing system but then here probably at that point the trader could have lost a lot of motivation when we take a look this is probably around trade 170 until trade 360 he has 200 trades where his performance just goes up and down but doesn't really advance higher it is very likely that at some point traders who experience a long drawdown period or a long break even period are losing their motivation, their fun, their excitement to trade. And we have seen it time and time again is that afterwards their account experience losses, they're not on top of their game anymore and they're not enjoying their trading as much anymore. Of course, those are all assumptions, but based on what we have seen in previous journal reviews and by talking to our users and customers, that are common patterns that we have seen across the board. So the main finding for this journal and for this trader is to start focusing on what is really working and what is really working we can see here in the performance by setup. There are three main positively performing setups that provide a lot of positive return for the trader. 
Most of the other setups are just trading roughly around break even and we have a few large negative outliers. Especially when you see large negative outliers with a lot of trades, in this case 131 trades, here 122 trades. Those sample sizes are large enough to tell you that this is clearly not working. And instead of trying to turn the DTP setup around and try to fix it, I would recommend the trader to focus his mental energy on what is already working well and try to leverage that. My guess is that this would provide a much quicker improvement for his trading. Also, it probably will mean that he has to spend much less time on his trading as a, as a whole. And he will also regain back his focus, his motivation and his inspiration to trade in the future. If you want us to review your journal in one of the next review videos, go to edgewonk.com review or click the link in the video description below.